Hey y'all, hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to Trish TV, Trish Talk. Am I here? Is this actually happening? I've been gone for a while, but I am back and we are back. We're better than ever. This is a place where we discuss mental health, relationships, love, all while becoming, evolving. The growth doesn't stop. Thank you so much for coming back. Season six, episode four. I wanted to discuss intention, the intention for year 2023, having more intention behind what we do who we're connected to why we do what we do just being more aware of ourselves and whomever we're connected with wherever we go being and doing with intention but before we get into this video you already know if you are not go ahead and subscribe i do appreciate you for coming to watch another video being more intentional what does it mean to do things with intention done on purpose deliberate so for me i want to be more intentional about what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm gonna start off with healthy habits, eating habits, lifestyle. I have to treat my body with care. We only get one body, one time around, one life. The foods, drinking, how often, understanding moderation. And the older that we get, the more that we start to feel the effects of what we eat and what we drink. So being more intentional about my health listening to my body when it speaks to me, slowing down when I need to slow down, getting more rest when I need to, uh, what goes in does come out. I wanna make sure that I feed my body good things because my body will reward me and we will live longer. My connections with friends, associates, I wanna be more intentional about whom I'm connected to. Just because I am connected to a friend does not mean their friends are also connected to me relationships. I want to be more intentional about my relationships and dating. Dating with a purpose. What is the end goal here? Do we align, nurture my connections? Because who you're connected to says a lot about you and how you move and how you are based on who we allow into our space and why we allow them into our space. They're a big part in the makings of who we are, have nourishing relationships, be surrounded by like-minded individuals, people I can learn from. The name of the game is growth and evolution. We grow up, we grow out of people, we grow up, we grow into. More intentional about my job slash career. When you are chasing something, when you have a dream, you have a goal, you have something that you really want to do, sometimes we have to do what we don't want to do before we'll actually be able to fully and completely be committed to what only what we want to do to provide for myself, keep my bills paid, keep my credit score good, doing what I have to do. I'm chasing my, my goals, my dreams, because I believe in myself first. There has to be this work-life balance. Also, my topics here on Trish Talk. Trish Talk is a major segment of Trish TV. It's all under the umbrella. I don't like to come on my YouTube channel and just talk about anything, just to say that I talked about something, I put a video out there. And you can still feel my energy. You can feel if I'm really into a topic or if I'm not, if I have experience and what I'm speaking about or if I do not. Is this authentically me? What makes me unique? Social media is where we are, it's where we've been, it's where we're gonna be for a long time. The, the pages that I follow and who I'm subscribed to, taking a better look at that, what kind of stuff do I like to see on my social media feed? TV shows, being more wise and aware of what I'm getting into um, so that I don't lose focus. Staying focused is the name of the game and it can be challenging when you allow different things to come into your space, into the environment, to get in your head. It can really cause a lot of chaos and confusion and God doesn't operate in confusion. And if I'm going to him with things that I desire, I have to eliminate that. Another thing that I wanted to bring out since we're talking about being more intentional, there's something I wanted to bring to my channel. It's a new segment. Every Friday, we're gonna be doing Q and A's. I'm gonna be answering different questions about different topics, starting with relationships. Relationships would be the first segment for this Q and A. I'm gonna be answering some questions, some questions that I see 
on my YouTube channel. So anything that I feel like I am experienced enough to give good advice on or to speak about, I'm going to bring that. So I'm so excited for this new segment every Friday. If you have anything that you want to ask me, if you want to put that under the comment section, please feel free to do so, whether it's related to that particular video or whether it's just something for Q&A, you can drop it in the comments and just say Q&A. That's your question. I'll keep you anonymous. I won't say your name. I'll just say what the question is and I'll provide the answer. If you're following me on Instagram at Trish TV one, you can message me on Facebook. I'll link everything below. However, you can get in contact with me. If you have a question, ask me. And if I feel like I can answer, I will answer every Friday. I will choose up to about two to three questions that will cover. These videos will be no longer than about five to seven minutes. It's going to be fun. Look forward to going live here on YouTube really soon. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you'll continue to support and tune in. And I'll see you guys right here on the next episode of Trish Talk at Trish TV. Love y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.